baby lock joy I'm going to simply grab my thread and I'm going to come over to number one you'll notice on the machine you have numbers here's my number one and if I come down number two and number three is the take up lever now it's very important that that is visible when you're threading so you're going to simply go over to your hand wheel and you're going to rotate that hand wheel towards you until you see the take up lever come into position so now that the take up lever is in position I'm ready to take my thread underneath guide number one Okay, and now I'm going to go to number two, wrapping around, that's how the arrow shows me to go, or the direction the arrow shows me to go, and now I'm going to slide it in to my take up lever. I'm going to come down to number four, this is number four, and right above the needle you will find that there is a little guide, and I'm going to slide that thread behind that guide. What I'm going to make sure is that my presser foot is down. I'll bring the needle threader down and make sure that it's catching into the eye of my needle. And in order to do that, again, that take up lever has to be in its highest position. So needle threader is in position, I'm sliding the thread underneath the white guide on my left and then underneath the needle and I'm going to simply pull back. I have my thread loop. Once I have my thread loop, I can go ahead and pull that thread through and my last step in threading my machine, the Baby Lock Joy, is to bring the bobbin thread up. To do that, what I'm going to do is hang on to that needle thread using my hand on the hand wheel, rotating it forward, and take the needle down and up, and then simply pull up that bobbin thread. Here's my bobbin thread, and I am now ready to start sewing.